Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to add this powder explosion effect to your custom text or logo and make it look like everything is integrated together. So it basically looks like part of the powder explosion is overlapping your text like this. All right, let's get started. So we'll start by creating a new Photoshop document. Now for this project, I'll make it a thousand by a thousand pixels. And since this is designed to be a digital project, I'll set the resolution to 72 pixels per inch and I'll change the color mode to RGB. Now that we have our canvas, we'll go ahead and download some assets. So we'll start by finding a base picture to work with. Now you can find these type of exploding powder pictures all over the place on free image sites or you can buy them off stock image sites if you want a higher resolution. But for this piece, we'll be using specific assets which were provided by a designer named Alberto Seveso. He's an amazing designer and photographer and he made these really high quality assets available to download for free. So that's really awesome. I'll leave all his information in the video description. So make sure to go check out his Behance page since he's got some really beautiful projects over there. Now for this video, we'll focus on this piece right here called Powder Explosion Brush Set. We'll be using one of these pictures as a base image. Now you can go ahead and download whichever one you want based on your preference. Um, I'm really digging this blue one right here. So I'll go ahead and drag this guy to my workspace. Then I'll scale it up just a little bit to fill my canvas. I'll do this by pressing Command T to bring up the free transform tool. Next, I'll just hold down Shift and drag one of these corners to scale it up. Holding Shift will allow you to scale up the image proportionally. Now, I usually don't recommend enlarging an image to make it bigger than its original size because this will result in pixelation and your image won't be as crisp. But in this particular case, I cheated a little bit just to make it fit to my frame since the pixelation doesn't really show much at 100% size. But if I really blew up the image significantly, the pixelation would start being a lot more obvious, right? So make sure you don't scale it up more than you have to. All right, so now that we have our base image, let's just go back to Alberto's Behance page and download ourselves some more goodies. Now, Alberto created this beautiful powder explosion Photoshop brush set. These are high resolution 1080p brushes and they're free to download. So just go back to the top of the page and click this download link right here. Now, just as a quick disclaimer, if you scroll down here, you'll see that all these files are fine to use for personal projects or for your social media. But if you do plan to use these assets for commercial work, make sure you ask him and you have his permission beforehand. I think it's super cool of him to make these assets available to download for free. So just try and be mindful of that. Okay, so once you've downloaded the file, unzip it and double click on the ABR file. Now go back to Photoshop and select the brush tool, then right click in the canvas to open your brushes. You'll see that you'll have all these new brushes available. All right, so now that we have everything we need, we can go ahead and type in our text. So let's select the type tool right here and you can type in whatever you want, but for the sake of this video, I'll just write down the word text. By the way, the font I'm using is called Dim Condensed. I'll leave a download link in the video description if you're interested in buying this font, but you can use whichever font you want. All right, now let's just resize the text and position it the way we want. This looks pretty good. So now we have our text and the explosion in the background, but it doesn't really feel like they're integrated too well together, right? It just looks like we kind of slapped the word over the picture. So this is where the brushes we downloaded will come in handy. Okay, so we'll start by creating a layer mask by selecting our text layer and then clicking down here on this little mask icon. Now, the way masks work in Photoshop is that whenever you apply black on your mask, it's gonna hide whatever's on this specific layer. And on the other hand, applying white will reveal what's on the layer. As you can see, the mask is filled with white by default, so everything is visible. Now, if I go ahead and apply black on the mask with my brush, you can see that it starts hiding parts of the layer. Then if I switch between my foreground and background colors by pressing X, my brush will now be white, which will reveal whatever's on that layer. 
Masks are usually used to hide and reveal parts of layers in a non-destructive way, meaning that you can always go back and edit your masks as opposed to, let's say, the eraser tool, which just deletes parts of your image. All right, let's try this out. Now what we want to do is try and find parts of the explosion we want to have overlapping our text. The way I do this is I take down the opacity of my text layer to have an idea of what's underneath. So let's select our text layer and just change the opacity value to 60%. Now make sure your layer mask is selected. Next, we'll pick the brush we want to use to mask part of our text. We can do this by right clicking on our canvas. Now we have a bunch of different brushes and if you scroll down, you should see all these new brushes we just installed. So I'm just going to start with this one and by default, the brush is way too big. So I'm going to go up here and reduce the size to about 100 pixels. And you can always readjust the size of the brush on the fly by keeping control and alt pressed and then just clicking and dragging your mouse left and right like this. So going left makes it smaller and right makes it bigger. Or you can just right click and use this slider over here. All right, so now we want to figure out which part of the explosion we want overlapping our text. For instance, I'd like to try and have maybe this part going over. Uh, maybe here would be nice. This part over here. Maybe this part here and over here. Right, so now that we have a general idea of what we want to do, we can start experimenting with the brushes. And keep in mind, you can mess around with these brushes, see which ones work best for you and which part you want to have overlap your text. So don't be afraid to try stuff out. That's what masks are for. So just try erasing different parts of your text until you're satisfied with the result. So I'm just going to start by erasing part of this T up here, but I don't really like the angle of the brush. It doesn't really match the flow of the explosion. So I'm just going to right click and go right up here to select this little arrow and change the direction of my brush. Now you can see if I move my cursor out of the box, I have a preview of my brush so I can tell if the angle looks right. Now this looks pretty good. Then we can start erasing part of our text. So just make sure you have black as your foreground color, right? Because black hides and white reveals. So this looks decent. I'll just move on to this part right here and see how that looks. All right, and maybe down here. All right, so I'm just going to keep going the same way for the rest of the letters. I'm just going to speed this up a little bit for you guys so you can watch the whole process and not have to sit through a half an hour video. All right, so this is looking pretty good. I find that the effect is pretty realistic and I like how the powder overlaps my type. So I'm just gonna leave it like that. But keep in mind that you can always go back and add more or maybe remove some of the effects thanks to the layer mask. 
So there you have it guys, I really hope you like the effect and as usual if you end up using this effect for your own project, make sure to share it with me on Instagram because I really enjoy seeing all of your work. So I'll leave my Instagram handle in the video description. Thank you so much for watching guys, I'll catch you in the next one.